these days we're wanting healthier options and that includes our fried food. So instead of deep frying this next recipe, I'm going to be using the ultimate fry, which is awesome because what it does is air fry, which means I can have a few more of these delicious crumbed cauliflower. Now I'm going to make a really nice parmesan crust for our cauliflower and serve it with a mango and yogurt chutney. I've cut the cauliflower into small florets, so they're bite size, it's great for a party. And then I've blanched them in some water, so rapidly boiling water, place the cauliflower in the water, and then once it comes back up to the boil, I take it out. The reason I do this is because I don't want to overcook the cauliflower because we're going to be cooking it twice. And let's get on with the production line. So in this bowl, I have some panko crumbs. You can get panko crumbs from all your supermarkets now, and we need to flavour this. Some Parmesan cheese, and we want about a quarter of a cup of Parmesan cheese along with some curry powder. I love the addition of curry powder. It's mild, so all the kids will love this too. And we'll add about a tablespoon, give that a mix. It's also going to give our crumbed cauliflower a really nice colour. It smells so good. Okay, we need to add some flour into one bowl. So a few tablespoons over here. And we need some eggs, so three eggs. I'll take them out of the bowl and we'll crack them in and we'll give them a whisk with just a splash of water to loosen it up. Some water. And I'll whisk this with a pinch of salt. Let's break those yolks that a really good whisk. Right, done. So for the production line, it's always easier to have things in their place all the way up to frying it. So flour, eggs, and we've got our crumbs. So we're gonna start by just dusting the cauliflower in the flour, into the egg mixture, and then into the crumb and give that a really good toss in the crumbs so each part of that cauliflower is covered. Just like that. Okay, we'll pop that back on the tray and we'll finish these off. Cauliflower is ready to go into the ultimate fry, so we're just going to take the basket out and we're just going to place them in one single layer. You can do this in batches because it takes no time at all to cook. The best thing about this air fryer is the 360 degree airflow. So we're going to get super crunchy, evenly coloured food. So we'll just pop this in one single layer and we're just going to place it in. Press start. I'm going to cook this at 200 degrees for about nine minutes. So we'll have a look at it and you'll see it'll be perfectly golden. We'll do another batch. Okay, all it takes is nine minutes and have a look at this cauliflower. Wow, they actually look like nuggets, chicken nuggets. And look how crispy they are. I want you to hear this. Oh, I'm happy about that. And no oil was used. I just love air fryers. Now, to serve this, I'll add some chutney to a bowl. This is a really cool sauce to go with it because it's sweet from the mango chutney. You've got tartness and creaminess from some yogurt and a small amount of garlic and give that a really good mix together. And now I'm just going to be quite generous with this and put a few dollops onto a serving plate and spread it out. So the whole idea is to place a little cauliflower, chippies or nuggets if you like, onto the sauce and when you pick it up, you scoop up some of that yogurt. 
Okay, so we'll just take these out, They're piping hot. You can see that even colour, crispy. Mm -mm -mm. And I love the freshness of mint. Forget deep frying, it's all about air frying now and you can see the crispy results. You can have a taste of this one. Lots of sauce. Mm. Mm. That is a morsel of joy right there. <laughs>